most amazing artists and welcome back to week three of our Henri Rousseau Tigers. The first week we made our tiger using a really cool mono printing technique. Last week we made the jungle leaf paper. So we just used cool colors and made a painting and we just made painted paper. If you missed those two weeks then make sure you go back and watch those here on my channel. And this week we are going to create the flowers for our jungle using a really fun um, technique that uses very simple materials. And as you can see, I just have two coffee filters. These are just regular coffee filters. These are pretty cheap ones as well. And I've been using the same brand for a very long time. So it doesn't matter what kind of coffee filter, just get yourself some coffee filters. And we're gonna use some washable markers. And I am going to spray some water onto my work after I get done coloring these. And you'll see what that does in just a little bit. So you're also gonna need some water. We're gonna make two of these today because I wanna make sure that we have enough flowers to fill our jungle, okay? If you guys cannot get coffee filters at all, you can actually do this technique on just regular paper. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. If you're in my face-to-face -face classes, we need to make sure we put our name somewhere. And I'm gonna have us just put our name right on our messy mat because if we put our name on these and when we spray it with water, it gets really wet, then our name will probably just disappear. So let's just put our name on our um, messy mat here so that we know whose coffee filters are whose, okay? And you can use any colors that you want to, guys. It's just important that you're using washable markers. And I think I wanna do one coffee filter using only cool colors, blues, greens, and uh, purples. And I'm gonna do the other coffee filter using only warm colors. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. We're gonna stay away from black and brown for our flowers because we want these to be as vibrant as possible. And if we add these two colors to our flowers, it might make our colors look a little bit dull. So don't even worry about using black or brown. Let's stick to our rainbow colors here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my cool colors over here. And again, you don't have to use warm and cool colors. You can do any color schemes that you want to. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start coloring this coffee filter. And you can color it any way that you want to. And what's great about this is that we do not have to color it all the way. Because once we spray this with water, those colors are going to start blending and kind of bleeding throughout this coffee filter. So it'll cover any white space that we miss with our marker. And for me, I'm just gonna do a layer all the way around the outer edge um, with purple. And you can switch your colors when you're doing this. Like I said, you can color this however you want to. Okay. We just wanna use a few different colors on each coffee filter because that's gonna make it look a lot more interesting than if we just use one color. We wanna kinda of mix it up a little bit. And to color this faster, I'm actually using the side of my marker here, like the edge of it, instead of using the tip. Because if I use the tip, then it's not gonna cover a lot of area. It's gonna take a long time to color this. So I'm just holding my marker off to the side and coloring it that way because it covers the space a lot faster. All right, now let me switch over to my green. I might actually wanna put some green up here. So you can be really random with this however you want to because once you spray this with water your colors are going to do whatever they want to do anyway so it doesn't really matter too much where you put them just get creative and have fun with it and trust me you are going to love the results all right so there's my cool color one i'm just going to set that off to the side i'm going to work on my warm color one and i'm essentially going to do the same exact thing just with my warm colors instead and I don't know if you noticed with my last one, but I just kind of flattened out my coffee filter. It makes it a lot easier to color on. It's okay if it keeps popping back up, just flatten it out with your hand. All right, there's my red. Let's go with orange next. And 
yellow. Here are my two coffee filters. And if you're in my face-to-face -face classes, after you finish coloring both of your coffee filters, I just need you to raise your hand and wait patiently because I'm gonna be coming around with a spray bottle and spraying these for you. And I'm gonna let you watch the magic happen because watch what happens whenever we spray these with water. I'm gonna spray a generous amount. And as you can see, it's getting very wet and it's very hard to tell because my messy mat is a dark brown color, but those colors really start bleeding and blending together. And once this dries, it's going to look very beautiful and it dries completely flat. So that's good too. And our colors just kind of blend across like a beautiful watercolor painting almost. So after we spray these, we're gonna have to let them sit and dry 100% before we can use them next week. All right, so there's my warm color one. Let's move over to my cool color one. And those colors are so beautiful. They start to bleed together and mix. It almost creates kind of like a tie dye effect once we're finished and it dries completely. All right, now that I sprayed my coffee filters with water, I need to let these dry, like I said just a minute ago. And I'm gonna let mine dry, and I'm gonna come back and show you what mine looks like so that you can kind of see what to expect when yours dries. All right, here are my coffee filters, 100% dry. As you can see, they dry nice and flat, and those colors become very, almost like kind of a tie-dye. That looks really cool in person, too. So just hold on to these and make sure you put them in a safe spot with your jungle paper that we did last time and your tiger because next week we are going to put them all together. All right, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this awesome coffee filter technique. I can't wait to see how yours turns out. I know it's gonna be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.